but fashion is experimentation. Fashion is working with your hands and, and trying to think through it and its patterns and it's, it's all an emotional way of expression. I think it's a lot of trial and error because I, I always think I look good and then a year later I look back on that and I'm like, wow, that was, that was a decision. And so I really like the Barbie aesthetic too because I was like that bubblegum pink and like the blonde hair and that bimbo, a little bit of that aesthetic. Like the eclectic turned into the fantastical. Kind of having my creativity be reflected in what I wear is something that's very important to me and I like to experiment and, and see what I can come up with fashion-wise. Even just the scene of people, people who dress alternatively in any fashion, I think is just inspiring that people put themselves out there like that and I was like, I want to do that too. I think that Penn State's style has a lot to do with pride of place. A lot of students uh, will wear Penn State gear all across campus. People tend to like stay within like certain colors, within like certain types of clothing. There are some days where I'm like in a whole gown and other people are just kind of chilling in like sweatpants. Oh, was I not supposed to be dressed like this? <laughs> I definitely notice when people go out of their way to uh, break the pajama university dress code. Um, personally, I have a aversion to wearing sweatpants outside. It feels like a cardinal sin to me, so I don't usually do that. But um, I do love seeing, um, you know, wide ranges of outfits on campus, because that's not to say that everybody wears pajamas or anything like that. I've been emo <laughs> uh, since middle school, so, but it wasn't really something I could do what like growing up, I didn't have uh, my own money to buy the clothes. And over there, um, I realized I never quite fit in because I was always like the tallest in the class and like I never had the trendy clothes that a lot of uh, my peers did. I wanted to try to have like a more unique styles. Around middle school, um, I think that was about the time that I realized that I was a part of the LGBT community, so I became uh, very interested in personal self-expression. And I went to Catholic school, so I wore a uniform every day. And because I was used to kind of just wearing whatever I wanted, but then it was like button-down shirt, skirt, tights, vest, blazer, industrial shoes. I was like, what is this? So, uh, yes, my big influences came from my mom, who was a very flashy dresser. But so when I was going through like middle school and high school, I took in a lot of media influences. Like celebrities that I look up to who have cool styles, like the basis for Monoskin. It's by like anime aesthetics and things. So I was trying out my makeup in different ways and like trying out more of like the black alternative looks. I loved the Barbie movies. Oh my gosh, Nutcracker, Princess and, a, and the Popper. Stop, I was obsessed with the Barbie movie saga. Fairy, oh my god, fairy topia. Like that, half of that, Barbie movies hold at least half of my fashion. And so I fell in love with colors, I fell in love with art, and I fell in love with the eclectic, the different, the diverse, the strange. Um, and I began experimenting with what I wear. In general, I just kind of dress like in a way that makes me feel confident in myself in a way that I can walk out of the house and be like, yeah, I look so cool today. I got into making my own clothes just because, you know, I'm an artist at heart and I really love to create and I thought what better way to kind of express who I am and my personality than like creating my own clothes, painting on them, dyeing them, and just making my own designs. So very slowly around my junior year of high school I started getting some clothes, but it was very much like an experimental phase. Um, just tired of wearing leggings and a sweatshirt every day. And that, that's no judgment to people who do, but I felt like it motivated me to get up um, if I felt like I was wearing something that I liked. And I sort of had this idea in the back of my mind between junior year and graduating high school that once I got to college, I was gonna go like way more all out. I, I enjoyed it, but it, I was still um, figuring out what felt like me. Um, but it was not until last year for my 21st birthday I decided to go full with the pink. <laughs> I knew I wanted to do it, and if I waited another year, I probably wouldn't have done it. So I was like, today's the day. We're going to go forth and do it. And I'm, I'm really happy with my decision. When you come to a school like Penn State with 
40,000 people who are trying to get from point A to point B to home to study, like, you really realize no one cares. People would always compliment me and it makes me really um, gracious that people notice and have the um, generosity to share that with me. But I always tell them too because a lot of the time they're always like, I could never pull that kind of crazy color off or I could never do that. I would, you know, I'm so afraid. And I always tell them, just do it, do something like now, do what you're afraid to do because I've never felt better.